what we're looking at here is the bottom D-link, just a normal switch. We've only got one actual PC hooked up, and we have the uplink over here, which is going into this interface on our router. And then above the router is another normal switch, which just has one connection going to a PC and the other one to the uplink to the router. And then this interface on the router is our actual main uh, quote unquote WAN connection. That's actually going to the the main router of the whole network that's got the internet connectivity and everything. And on USB here we have a USB to TCP IP cable which is running to another system on a different network. And this device is actually routing between all three of these networks, I'm sorry, four of these networks with Quagga which is the open source Cisco IOS uh, compatible uh, configuration networking routine. So this is actually just a Linux box. It does have Wi-Fi, these antennas, uh, that's not turned on yet. You can use that for another network though. So basically the system that's plugged into the first switch port here, which is on the 192.168.2.0 network, is just a little netbook here. And this is showing, uh, you probably can't make it on the screen, the top left is uh, pinging 2.1, which is successful, and then uh, it's pinging 3.1, which is the router interface for the network connected to the D-Link, and that's successful. And then the 10.0.0.0, which is the USB interface off the router. So this guy himself is actually 192.168.2.2.24, and he's connecting to all three of those uh, router interfaces on the other networks based on the RIP configuration stored on the router. And that's coming off the top switch here, the Rosewell black switch. Now this one on the bottom of the D-Link is connected to a machine that's on the 192.168.3.0 slash 24 network, which is this, uh, this machine right here, this Ultrabook, which again you probably can't see the whole screen here pretty bad quality, but um, this one's also pinging its gateway, which is 3.1. You can also get um, the 10.000 network and the 192.168.2.1 network. So it's talking to all those interfaces, which are also connected through RIP as well, through the router itself. Now using this actual router interface with the Quagga so it pretty much makes this box just like a Cisco uh, IOS router. I'm using just the RIP, pro RIP protocol version 2, that's it. And I wanted to also test out the USB interface which is networked to a Raspberry Pi which is way off screen, I'm not going to bring the camera over there. But that's on the 10.000 slash 30 network so it's a point to point between the Raspberry Pi and the actual router itself and that can ping out to the 192.168.2.0 network and the 3.0 network. I do have a problem with pinging the 1.0 network, which is the main interface which is plugged into the actual internet itself, going through the retail FIOS router and this and that. Um, I'm sure it's just an IGBM, IGMP problem. Probably pings aren't going out, but uh, I'm going to further research that and hopefully understand why DNS is not being passed through as well from this Quagga router from the actual 192.168.1.0 network that it's connected to. Um, each of the laptop's clients have been hard uh, DNS config to 8.8.8.8 .8 which is the Google Open DNS server. Um, you know, NS lookups don't work, hosts don't work. I'm, I'm forgetting the Cisco IOS portion in order to get DNS going through. Because there's no DHCP running from this router now, there is DHCP on the router interface on the other end of this interface. So this is getting a 192.168.1.0. This is getting an IP address on that interface from a DHCP server from the main, main top router. But all these other interfaces are static, static IP addressing, you know, configured on each of the device devices. So, you know, if I got my Etsy resolve.conf or whatever file, you know, or network manager, if it's, you know, high-level GUI, they all got 8.8.8.8, but uh, I'm going going nowhere with that, so so kind of stumped, you know what I mean? Without DNS, you're not really getting, obviously there's no internet whatsoever, no DNS. But um, also pinging the 192.168.1.0 network is confusing, but again, I'm running off this normal Verizon 
stock router, uh, Fios router. It's an Action Tech model. It didn't do anything with firmware or anything like that. So I'm sure it's just a setting, maybe somewhere on there. But hopefully uh, I can figure that out and we'll get full connectivity on all these different networks. Zoom out a little bit just to give you an overall view. And that's just the basic setup for testing. And again, like I said, I, on that USB I've got a Raspberry Pi hooked up, which is off camera. Hopefully I can put that on sometime. Make it a little bit easier, edit the video or something like that. So if you have any ideas about DNS or why the 1.0 network won't ping back, communicate at all through the interfaces, let me know because I can also video cast the Quagga interface itself and the routing, all that stuff that's set up. But basically it's just RIP version 2 and the network statements for the networks. Thanks.